Saturday morning and the rain is pouring. Dad worked late last night. He's in there snoring. Same old stuff on TV. Boring. So what if I can't go out and play? I know what I'll do today. I'm going down to the library, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Gonna say hi to the dictionary, picking out a book, check it in, check it out. Now I like books and they like me, so when I go to the library, I sit down in my favorite chair and check to see who's there. Maybe one book, maybe two. Take me Welcome home, to says story Winnie. time in secret. And the book is The Mitten. Uh-oh. Let's see if I have some mittens to show you. All right, anybody have mittens? Uh-oh. You have gloves or mittens, right? Jake's got blue. What do you have on, Sean? You no, no mittens. What about you? No, no mittens. It mustn't be that cold. What about, no, I guess not. All right, well, <clears throat> the story is about a mitten. <laughs> And it's about a boy whose name is Simon. Ah, oh, Simon. And sure enough, there he goes. He's running outside in the snow and his hands are getting cold. He needs mittens, but he doesn't have any. So he goes to his grandma, his granny, and says, can you make me some mittens? So she said, sure, I'll make you a nice pair of blue ones like Jake. That's a great color. Or well, maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll make a red. Red's a good color. No, says Simon, no. I want white mittens. Oh, no, says Granny. If you lose a white mitten in the snow, you'll never find it. Oh, but Simon was so polite. Please, please, please. So. Granny said yes, and she made them, and they were beautiful. Oh, they were beautiful. Oh, look at them, they were lovely, so lovely. But, uh-oh, guess what? Granny was right. He was out playing, and he dropped one of them in the snow. He didn't see it. He kept on going, but out of nowhere, there arrived a mole. Look at that mole. Whoa. And it climbed into the mitten. It did. Yeah, and a little while, yes. <laughs> and a little while later, a bunny, a rabbit, came bounding along. Yes, yes. And it came jumping into the mitten. It got in the mitten too. Oh no. The mitten started stretching and stretching. Mm -hmm. oh, a little while later, we've got the mole and the rabbit, remember. Now we have a hedgehog. A hedgehog, sure. The hedgehog tried to make its way in. And it did, it did, it did. Look at that, all those prickles, oh no. Ooh, ooh. Up in a tree. Yes, you got it. There was an owl. And the owl came swooping down, swooping down. And guess where it headed? It headed, John knows, it headed into the mitten. Yeah, it did. It did, you're right. Oh no, it's kind of big. It's, but it's gonna make it. Unbelievable. A skunk. A skunk came along. A skunk. And the skunk said, move over, move over. And all the animals moved over. They moved over. And then, then, a wolf. Yes, you got it, Julian. A wolf came along. Well, sure enough, the wolf or the dog or the fox climbs in to the mitten. Do you know what's coming next? A huge bear <laughs> appeared on the scene. There he is. And 
he said, move over, move over. And he's too big, I know. The glove, she really did a good job on that mitten. It stretched and it stretched and it stretched. So sure enough, the bear fit in. There he is. The next thing, oh no, oh no. A tiny, tiny animal came along. It was a, a mouse. <laughs> yes, a mouse. Cora knows the mouse. Yeah, the mouse climbed up on top of the bear's nose. Uh, and the mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Ha, 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 choo. And everybody went flying all over the place. Oh no, oh no. All of them all over. Unbelievable. Yes, and the mitten, what happened to the mitten? The mitten was up in the sky. He reached up, grabbed it. How perfect is that? But, oh no, there see, he's grabbing it. He runs back and he says, oh, thank goodness. My granny would be upset if I had lost that mitten. Oh no, there she is. She's at the window. And she's so happy, she's so happy that he's got the mitten. However, however, look at this. This is a mystery. When he went back to the house to show Granny that he had both mittens, one was a little mitten and one was a big mitten. What was that all about? I think Jack knows which one stretched and stretched. Yeah, you're right. You got it. The big one, it stretched and stretched and stretched so all of the animals could fit. And this was how it started with a little tiny little mitten. But I know, I know. So what is he going to do with that from now on? I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll work out. It'll be, it'll be fine. So that's the end of the story of the myth. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. Daddy's taking us to the zoo tomorrow. And we can stay all day. We're going to the zoo. With a long trunk swinging, great big ears and a long trunk swinging, snuffing up peanuts with a long trunk swinging, and we can stay all day. We're going to the zoo.